So tell us about your Olympics a little bit, please. Um, well, swimming wise, it wasn't the best, but that's okay because I've had such a wonderful experience. This is my first Olympic Games. I'm just kind of soaking up the atmosphere, having great times. It's really kind of a relief to be done swimming and just be able to come to like parties like this and just have a good time. Fantastic. Well, we're doing this for Speedo Podcasting, and so the laser race seems to have hit the scene a little bit. What do you think of it? It's a really great suit. It really, really is. And obviously proven by all the world records and all the fast swimming that's been done in it. It's, you know, technologically advanced. It's comfortable. It's great for the swimmer. And um, so it's what I wear. I love it. And tell us what you think of Michael's achievements here. <laughs> um, you know, I don't think you can quite put into words how amazing. Eight gold, seven world records. I, that's something you just can't top. I don't... I don't think anyone will touch that anytime soon, and it's, it's superhuman. Nobody has any words for that, really, do no, they? No, <laughs> not at all. I mean, it, I mean, it speaks for itself. So what's your plan now? Another four years, what are you going to do? Um, right now, just kind of take a break, and um, I'm going to go to Spain, go visit my best friend, just kind of get away from swimming for a little bit, get, get my mental all back together, and, um, and then get back to training and go to hopefully Worlds in, in uh, July. That's kind of not looking too far ahead right now. Uh, well, thanks for speaking to us and everybody at Speedos. Wishing you all the best. Sure, thank you. Thanks, Kate.